welcome to episode 46 of In the Shop with Custom Lowe's. We got a ton of work going on today. We're gonna finish this back wall. I got some changes I wanna make just to make the seats, accommodate the seats a little better. We're gonna do some fiberglassing on the back wall. Just went and picked up some tape. We're gonna start taping some stuff off, plasticking some stuff off, because we got a whole bunch of fiberglass work we're gonna start doing in the back now. Um, let's see where we get today. All right, so as you guys can see, we're basically touching that piece of three quarter. This is intended to be my base plate, which I wanted to build off of a little bit because I want to, well, this has to be wrapped and I also want to add some trim stuff to it too. So I think I'm going to take a step back, take this off and work it to do fiberglass from this portion up because the seats are very close there. And also I don't want this to stick out much at all. And I, I, I don't want it to be where you're sitting back and you have to kind of tilt your head forward to not hit the speaker. So we're going to start taking this apart, do a little backtracking. That's okay though. Get some fiberglass laid on this and uh, see if we can get some more room out of here. All right guys, so we're here on day three of this episode um well really i didn't even film day two so i guess call it day two of this episode either way i'm getting more taping done i'm trying to plastic this whole thing off get it all taped off so i can start fiberglassing it and create the mold so initially the thought process was to cover the back window with a piece of wood use that as a base and then build off of that but with this, the way the seats are, and I'm trying to retain as, as much of a factory look as possible, I want this thing to be as, as shallow as humanly possible. So um, I'm gonna fiberglass, basically fiberglass this whole back area here. That'll make me a perfect mold of the back wall and back window. I could then pop that out and then build my pod off of that. I'm gonna use the factory side panels and those are actually gonna be permanently attached to the top half. The bottom half is gonna be its own separate section that are gonna hold the amps and stuff. Um, but yeah, so a lot of work left. I'm still taping, still trying to figure out exactly how I wanna do this. This is the first back window pod I've ever done, so I wanna make sure I don't go into it half cocked, but we're getting there. And uh, I'll bring you guys back in with another update when I make a little further. All right, so I went ahead and removed their seats. I was trying to keep them in, but there's just no way I'm gonna have enough room to work here. So as you can see in the windows, there's a lot of you know areas here and here, and even in the middle there too, there's a lot of flat area. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and actually template out and cut some quarter inch, or sorry, eighth inch uh, masonite board to fit in those areas. So when I actually glass, I'm gonna glass those pieces into it as well. That should take care of, you know, covering a lot of square inches of fiberglass that we don't really need because honestly, fiberglass isn't the strongest when it is flat either way. So we're gonna get these pieces templated out and I'll probably either hot glue them or super glue them to the tape and then we'll fiberglass to that and then it'll all pull apart either way. So let's get these pieces cut, measured up first, then cut. When I get them back in there, I'll bring you guys back in. All right, so I got these back pieces on here. These are basically just pieces to kind of eat up some of the fiberglass that I would have to use because fiberglass really doesn't hold a ton of strength when it is completely flat, like where you have it on the windows where those brown pieces of masonite are. So really what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna glass probably an inch over the sides all around the perimeters of each one of those. That'll just tie it into the whole fiberglass piece. I decided also to bridge it down to the bottom and I'm gonna do some fiberglassing on the bottom as well. That'll just make this whole piece like one whole piece. I think this will give it the best overall outcome, out you know, look, most factory look, um, keep it the most low profile and sleek so there's actually room back there. But we're gonna keep going on this, making good progress. 
and I'll bring you back when I got some more to show you. All right, guys, so I know it's a lot to look at. I don't even really know what's going on because I'm kind of just winging it as I'm going, but basically the brown board right now is in place to take up the bulk quantity of fiberglass I'm going to be needing because like I said, fiberglass doesn't really bond very very good or doesn't have a ton of strength when it is completely flat and straight. So in those major areas, I put brown board and at the bottom too, where I did have those three quarter pieces, I went ahead and did some eighth inch uh, masonite board just because I wanted to make it as thin profile as possible. I also contoured, kind of like shaped the side with tape and that's where I'm going to fiberglass and that'll kind of give my side the shape that I'm looking for. Um, I'm probably going to end up making this one solid piece now that I got into it, but we're going to keep going, see where we can get. I'm making some progress. Ton of tape, but we got some more wood I want to put in these flat areas where I know I can put it. Might as well, and then uh, we'll start whipping out some fiberglass, hopefully. All right guys, so here we are, we got all the wood pieces on here. I definitely went a little farther than I was expecting to, but this should definitely cut down a ton of time when I'm doing all this fiberglass. This is a big piece of glass, so to have this wood kind of eat up a lot of that square inches of where the fiberglass is gonna need to go is definitely gonna save us a ton of time and actually gonna make this a lot easier in the end. So we're gonna start with throwing down some fiberglass. Well, first I gotta prep these pillars. I'm gonna drill some holes on them. Uh, sand them real deep, put some gouges in it. I really want this fiberglass to stick well. When you're doing fiberglass and fiberglass into factory panels, the stuff does not want to stick very well. You're going to want to heavily, heavily sand it, maybe even with like some 30 grit on a, on a power grinder. Sand it really, really good. And also I like to drill some small holes along the edges just so the fiberglass actually seeps into it. So I'll show you guys after I get that done. But we are getting along and getting further. All right, guys, so I got all this prep work done. I got all the wood pieces on there. I got the pillars sanded. I used the uh, DA sander with some 30 grit on there and really put some heavy grooves into it. Hopefully with the pictures and the videos I showed, you guys can see that. I also went through and drilled with an eighth inch drill bit, a lot of holes. Um, kind of almost Swiss cheesed it really, basically. You want the glass to go into the hole and loop down so it actually holds on to the panel itself. I see a lot of times and I'm sure if you've tried it yourself, I've even made the mistake myself first learning, the fiberglass seems to stick to it and you would think with how sticky it is after even just sanding it, it should be okay. But a lot of cases, it doesn't want to stick to this plastic. So you have to really heavily prep this stuff. Lightly sanding is not going to work. You have to really heavy sand this and, and grind it. And I would even recommend putting in the holes as well. So the fiberglass has really has something to bond to because it's gonna go in the holes and obviously, you know, drip down a little bit, so it's gonna droop and hold in that panel really good. So we got this all prepped up. I think we're gonna call it an episode here just because I've already done a lot of work on this episode. So we're gonna start fiberglassing. That'll be on the next episode. I'm gonna get ready to uh, start getting all my mat ready, all my resin ready. I'm gonna get a batch on here before I leave tonight, but we are gonna end the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of In the Shop with Custom Lowe's. I'll be back again tomorrow on another episode for you guys. Um, well, maybe tomorrow, maybe a couple days, we're gonna see. I've been trying to do 
two or three days of footage into one episode instead of trying to do one day of footage into an episode because a lot of times within one day there's especially in this process there's not lots of film so um here we are we're gonna get going for the day if you guys want to make sure you check out my patreon page you can help support the daily video vlogs that way um make sure you guys like this video subscribe to my channel drop me a comment below and if you could check out my website i got links in the description below for all the things you guys are going to need there for all your audio equipment so go check that out i'll see you guys again and thank you for watching